What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video we are going to be doing a gameplay in NBA 2K20 my team. And this isn't going to be a normal gameplay. This is going to be a gameplay with what may be the most overpowered player in the history of my team. And sure, there are other guys who have got higher ratings. There are other guys who have got better stats. But the thing is, is that this guy is, the way the meta is, this guy is the best we have seen so far. Except for maybe, there is maybe one card, and one card only, that you could argue is better than this card here. And that is the Giannis Antetokounmpo from NBA 2K18, because the blow by existed. However, the blow by existed, and it wasn't just for a quick first step badge, and there was no clamps badge to completely nerf the blow by. However, that's exactly what this Giannis has. 96 overall, he has got 35 intangibles. Which means this guy has got better stats than the Opals. Like 99.99 there. I'm trying to think, is there any other good ones? When he's literally got better stats than most Opals in this game. Not only that, he's Giannis. He's 6'11, glitchy. He's got 10 All of Fame badges, quick first step, downhill, fancy footwork, contact finisher, relentless finisher, consistent finisher, tireless defender, clamps, off ball pass. He's got quick first step and clamps and downhill. No one is stopping this guy in the fast break, and no one is getting by this guy. He's also got Gold Dimer, Gold Floor General, Gold Defensive Leader, Gold Intimidator, Gold Quick Draw, Gold Post Move Lockdown, Gold Back Down Punisher. This is the best card we have seen. This is going to be the best card we see in my team for a long, long time. And I'm telling you that for sure. And this is someone who didn't read like the other answers. This is going to be the best card for a while. Good post game, good post uh, fadeaway, good mid range shot, 79 3 is possible. Great driving, a standing dunk. He's got great ball handling, great passing, great block steal, perimeter defense, and interior defense, great rebounding, great speed speed ball and acceleration, and tendencies driving dunk of 100, glitchy hop step moves, and he's just, he's Giannis. That's the only way to describe this card, he is Giannis. But anyway, yeah, this is the end game card. This is, this is end game, lads. This is it. So anyway, now let's get on to the hot zones and release for Giannis, then we're going to get on to the game. So Giannis, thankfully, at least this year, you cannot put limitless range on Giannis. Oh, that release is nice. Okay, we always knew Giannis' release is nice. It's just a lot of time it was slow. However, now it is significantly, significantly faster. So you leave Giannis open. Man, he's hitting leaners. Like, you leave Giannis open from three, he's actually going to hit them. Like, you cannot leave, you can't even let, just like Giannis in real life, against the Lakers, you cannot, he'll hit them. And, let's be real, I wouldn't be that surprised if Curry ran, or if 2K ran, we just threw in another Giannis in a, another pink diamond Giannis after his game against the Lakers and just gave him a three ball, but, I don't know. I think we've got enough Giannis cards already this year. Considering last year, we saw the pink diamond Giannis, which was kind of rare, 500k until like April. And then we saw, obviously, the moments Giannis in May. But this card is ridiculous. This release is so nice at the post game, And is obviously going to be glitchy layups, glitchy dunk animations. And the big thing with Giannis is you run to the basket, you press square, he hop steps in, and something good is going to happen. He can play it. I'm not, thankfully, we're not running against this guy at point guard. But I'm telling you guys, Giannis is, Giannis is going to be a game breaker. But anyway... Now it's just green of three, and now let's get on to the game. Okay, so we're playing Shea, Michael Jordan, Paul Pierce, Draymond, and Embiid. And I'm going to swap Giannis to the three, because I'd rather him destroy Pierce than maybe get clamped by Draymond. But this guy seems not awful, but not very good. Okay, he's using a foot shot meter. Are we in 2K17 or something? Because I haven't seen that in a long time. Uh, run right to the basket. And if Giannis had made that, like that was literally just a dumb turbo in a straight line. Okay, we haven't started well. I think it's safe to say that much. That's a tough pull up. Let's go, Giannis. He's also got gold dimer. Oh, normally I play on power forward. That was the wrong button press. And I didn't even press a button there. Odom just stepped back into the backcourt. Lovely camera turn problems. So I'm not worried about Shea playing offense. I'm not worried about any player who uses the foot shot meter. I genuinely am not sure I've lost to a foot shot meter player this year. 
Giannis Euro steps in. I don't even know what, I don't even know how I triggered that right there, but I did. All right, he's got some, uh, he's only got two here and we are down by three. Uh, Giannis up in and he can't shoot the corner three, so I'll leave, leave that. Really Shea Gilles Alexander rebounded us. We forced a kind of difficult shot there, Pierce. And let's run our actual lineup or our actual way of playing. That is a little bit deep from Yanis. It's off. And Yanis goes right in and blows the layup. Come on. Cover that pass. Boy, let's go. Let's run Yanis off the ball maybe a little bit. Or let's get him on the break. To the basket, draw the foul. Or just make the layup over and beat. Pretty sure he's a Hall of Fame rim protector, and it doesn't matter. Yanis just finishes right over him. Okay, I'm going through. It's it is the kind of Yanis problem where you start running everything through him. Okay, good job drawing the foul. Okay, he's he's gonna be better, I think, in the second half. Not started off the best, but you know what? Like six points in three minutes is it could be a lot worse. With this team, with this squad, I'm going to the press. It was dumb not to have straight away. Okay, let's run him how I normally run players in the pick and roll and pick and pop. Hit Chris Bosch. He's got gold dimer. And that is off by Chris Bosch. I think I've just been horrendous in general. I don't think it's been anything to do with Giannis in this quarter. Like, it'll pick up. It'll pick up. This is game one of the day. I'm um, a bit rusty. Okay. There we go. That's is Giannis in his element now. They can't stop him. To the basket. Larry Nance gets the block. Let's see. Larry Nance can't stop him, but evidently he could. Okay, I need to just... I don't even know what I need to do specifically. Just be less dumb, I guess. Take my time. There we go, right to the basket, swat it again. This is a horrendous start. Okay, so we are down by seven points at the end of the first in what was a bit of a shocking first quarter. Like, Giannis is unbelievable. I'm not gonna deny that. He just, I was just terrible. Not Giannis the card. Me personally, I was just terrible in that quarter. And now we're just gonna go back to what we normally run. Pick and pops. Pick and pops, pick and pops, and more pick and pops. Get the switch. Wide open shooter right there. Derek Rose for three. Can't hit the wide open shot. One more into the corner. James Wardy for three. Green. There we go. Let that be the start. Okay, like my opponent is not playing well. I'm just playing really badly. Bang, bang. Green, there we go. Back to one. Let's blitz this guy here, get a 10 point lead or something going into the four, uh, third, and then we can destroy him with Giannis. Wide open Levine. Oh, great, he's on zone. That's what you love, you love to see it. Oh no, he's back to man. Wide open Cat. Oh my god, what is wrong with my releasing? I'm never usually this bad with Cat. There we go, fine, he took us Kobe to green a shot. Normally I have quick draw Cat's release down. That's why I like using him as a center. And then for the whole reason that for some reason he just is the best rim protector in the game for me. Obviously, stats-wise, he shouldn't be, but if you've ever seen me using Carl Anthony Towns... Really? So one player he greens with his Embiid? Oh, my God. How did D-Rose not catch the ball? All right, that is the single, single worst quarter of basketball. Um, or worst half of basketball or 2K I've ever played. So, we're good. We're going to be fine. Okay, so, we're going to get starters back in. Hopefully, Giannis is better. From very deep. Why not? Why not? We've been... We have barely been hit a shot, so why not pull that? Good spin. And Giannis shows a fell. Let's go. We're trying to play ISO ball for some reason. It's just not working. We are 2 of 10 in the first, or, well, 2 of 9 in the first half with Giannis. That is just simply not good enough. All right, my opponent is very, very good at stopping me running through one specific player. Good pass by Giannis, and hit shot there by Bosch. Let's go. Screen, attack. Got the hop step in. There we go. We finally got something going to the basket with Giannis, or we didn't get blocked or stripped or something. Still got plenty of time left to have a big game. Pick and roll. 
Pass it up to Simmons. Good pass there by Rose. Good dunk there by Simmons. I think I'm going to have to run your ass a little bit off the ball, see if he gets on as like a uh, pick and roll roll guy. Bang, bang. Easy mid range shot there for Simmons. You know, Simmons is the worst Giannis, and he's going to line and score four points straight away. And out of nowhere, it's a four point game again. Probably shouldn't have pulled that with him. I don't know what is wrong with me today. I cannot green with anyone. Now, there are shots I should be hitting in my sleep with Levine. Like, I'm one of five from three with Zach Levine. That just sums up the way I'm playing in this game. It's horrendous. Well, not sleeping definitely doesn't help. If you guys are wondering, my thesis was due today and I submitted it about an hour ago. So I have not slept in about two days. And yeah, it definitely, definitely stops the uh, fine motor skills anyway. It stops things where there's a very small margin for error, like shot releases, definitely. Um, and like quickness and reaction time is definitely down, but you know what? We just green two shots there and should have the game one. Good defense there. Giannis forcing the turnover. Let's go. Two minutes to go. He has scored 10 points so far. Let's just see. Can we get something out of this? What? Like, my offense is gone. Like, I used to, my offense used to be a four at one in and 2K Apache. I told you guys. My offense was 20, it's 21 delay. I'm saying it right now. I show it in, like, two videos. Uh, because I figured it out because it's titled something like good spacing on pick and rolls and now 2k have made 21 delay so that it's no longer good spacing on pick and rolls it's just no spacing at all like people randomly just go into the post now and it's your guards that go into the post which is the worst thing easy unlucky and 2k will do whatever they can to patch spacing spacing not an exploit not an exploit we're talking about spacing not the teleportation behind the backs. Not all these mad exploits you can do. We're talking about spacing. Draymond is clamping him though. Tough layup. And Giannis can't make that. He hasn't made any of those. I would be hoping maybe one or two of those would go in. Hit the mid-range there though. Where he's kind of just getting glitchy animations on the inside. Um, Jan should get the chase. No, he's like right into him. And Yanis can finish over and beat. All right, like I know there are shots that he shouldn't be hitting, and I'm not complaining about him missing them. I don't know. I just I have a weird relationship with Yanis in this game. I hate playing against him. Love playing with or hate playing with him. I've never, apart from obviously Opal Yanis, I've never enjoyed a Yanis in 2K. And again, that is not including the NBA 2K18 Yanis. Now we see easy clutch. Now we really see easy clutch because it's a two point game. He's getting the ball no matter what. Oh, it's so dumb. I'm trying to give him the ball and I just, oh, I don't even know. This is the sleep. This is what the sleep deprivation is doing. What? How do we turn that ball over? <laughs> okay, now we see what Giannis is made of here. The guy I want with the ball is also inbounding. To a wide open Chris Bosch. Game. Alright. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing putting Cedric Sabalos on the floor right there. I don't know what his matchups were like, but we won, I guess, in the end. Um, this is a fear just meltdown. And again, I'm going to blame the sleep deprivation, but that was a bit of a meltdown. So in the end, Giannis, that was the single worst gameplay I played with anybody in NBA 2K20. Giannis had four turnovers, two assists, one block, four rebounds, 14 points. Simmons, four or five, 10 points in five minutes. Giannis minus 13. And honestly, I'll explain a little bit later, but it still is, this is the best card in the game. Regardless of how this gameplay went. This gameplay was terrible, but this is the best card in the game. Um, I just really struggled in general in that game, to be honest. Lamar Odom minus 13 as well. So anyway, that is the video. I'm probably gonna take a little bit of a nap after that before my next video. Like I can't, I don't think I can physically 
take making another video but honestly this Giannis is worth the grind it is worth everything it is worth selling your entire team for it is worth putting a bunch of bronzes around this Giannis if you can afford the set if you have that four or five hundred k um on the set if you have that four or five hundred k to spend all you literally have to do is get this Giannis and then sell all your cards back and put a bunch of rubies and sapphires and stuff around them and just overall cheese he is without question the best card in my team I don't like Giannis, and I'm not good with Giannis. I've never been good with Giannis. It didn't, like, that was a mixture between being not good with Giannis and just being a terror, me playing terrible. So, I'm not the best person to watch with Giannis, but I know a lot of you guys do kind of base your game style around the way I play, which I would never really do that. I'd never base your game style on another player, find out what works for you and stick to it. But, no, Giannis, if I do manage to get on my PC squad... I don't know if I'll have the time to grind him on both systems, but he'll be on the Nomini Spence squad. There's no question about that. And he's going to be the starting power forward. And he may, he may get to the stage where I even sell Lamar Odom just because I have Yanis. But anyway, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.